Dear students and respected parents, Mother's Blessing Academy feels honored to welcome you all the viewers who are watching this video. This video presentation has been made with a basic purpose. The purpose is to help the students to check whether the exam preparedness of them is up to the mark or not because you all have worked very hard throughout the year but throughout the year we have done so many kind of questions but before the exams because of shortage of time it is not possible for anybody to revise each and everything that has been done throughout the year so here there are certain specific questions which are belonging to a category called one time practice kind of questions which you must do you must revise before entering the examination hall so here is a collection of such specific questions the specific question means one time practice question means you need one time practice because there are certain things in the solution of these questions that you may be stuck up if you haven't revised it so here we are trying to help the students to give them specific few number of questions which if they watch these questions before entering the exams that will finally help them and which will finally help them that they are not stuck up in any kind of questions Dear students, the very first question, it is given to us AB plus BC plus CA is equals to 0 and you have to prove this, sorry, you have to find out the value of this. Now, essentially, it is a must that you must look into a very shortcut. See, here there is BC, CA and AB. I can make out this value each and the, of this value from this one so let's see how it happens see AB plus BC plus CA equal to 0 I will make out minus BC how could it be AB plus CA equal to minus BC this is equation number 1 so this is being made now the turn is for minus C how could I make it I will take out shift transpose CA from left hand side to the right hand side so it becomes AB plus BC is equals to minus AC this becomes equation 2 this also had made right now minus AB so AB has got to be shifted onto the right side so it becomes BC plus CA is equals to minus AB this is my third equation now what was actually required to be found out it was 1 upon a square minus bc plus 1 upon b square minus ca plus 1 upon c square minus ab 1 upon a square minus minus bc's value is how much ab plus ac plus 1 upon b square minus ac's value is how much ab plus bc plus the next part 1 upon c square minus ab is how much bc plus ca bc plus ca so all i can see from this that in the very first part a is common so a into a plus b plus c plus here b is common so b into a plus b plus c plus in this one the last one c is common a plus b plus c sorry so right now i can see that 1 upon a plus b plus c is common so keep it outside the bracket so you are left over with what 1 upon a plus 1 upon b plus 1 upon c right so the very next step ABC LCM becomes ABC so here it will be BC 
here it will be AC and here it will be A into B divided by 1 upon A plus B plus C. Now you have been given that AB plus BC plus C is equals to how much? 0. So here this one becomes 0. So the entire result lands up with 0. Okay. Thank you. So students, here the second question is on the way. It says that the total surface area of a hollow metallic cylinder open at both the ends of external radius and height 10 cm is 338 pi cm square taking out to be the inner radius from the thickness of the metal. As we all know that whenever there is a hollow cylinder given hollow cylinder given like this it will have two radius but you know that a hollow cylinder always possess only one height it only possess one height so there will be two radius this is small rad internal radius and this is outer radius outer radius is given to be as 8 cm somewhere it is given here it is 8 cm and the height of the cylinder is given to be as 10 cm and the total surface area is equals to what there is some internal curved surface area so it is inner curved surface area plus something will be outside outside curved surface area outer curved surface area and there will be two base rings one ring is this another ring is this so there are two base rings okay so now I will transform this statement into a formula we have been told that the total surface area is 338 pi here inner curved surface is 2 pi small r into h outer curved surface area is 2 pi big r h and the two base rings is 2 pi big r square minus r square because you know that area of a ring is what outer circular area minus inner circular if we subtract outer and inner circle area you are left off with the rings area but there are two rings one is this another is this so we have written two over here you can see everywhere left hand side and right hand side pi is there so it will get cancelled out so it is 338 equal to 2rh plus 2 big rh plus 2 r square minus small r square now this is what finally the values have been put into it now here also you can see there is 2 is common so 2 will be we can divide with 2 on both the sides so this will be 169 equal to rh plus big rh plus r square minus small r square now let us put down the value of r 169 equal to smaller is not known to us height is 10 centimeter plus big r is how much it was given to be as r so it is r i mean sorry it is r equal to 8 8 into height was 10 plus 8 square minus small r square so it is 169 equal to 10 r plus 80 equal to 64 minus r square so now we will have to convert that into a quadratic equation so it becomes something like r square comes over here it becomes r square and minus 10 r and here it is 169 minus how much will it be 144 equal to 0 so here we are left over with how much it is going to be 169 so this is going to fetch us 5 and here it is 25 so dear students you have just got the value of it is how much r minus 5 into r minus 5 so the radius is 5 smaller is 5 therefore the answer for this is going to be what you needed thickness so what is thickness 
thickness is always equal to what bigger minus smaller so what is bigger 8 and smaller is 5 so that gives us 3 cm is the final answer ok please have a look we then end this video session for second question so the solution of question number 3 all you have seen the question is <coughs> of this nature that everywhere you can see that they are having a common base 3 so I will just start with the stuff 3 to the power 2n because 3 square is 9 so 9 to the power n will over here again there is 3 square into 3 to the power n minus 27 means it is 3 cubed so it is 3 to the power 3n that got divided by 3 to the power 3m into 2 cube and that is equals to 1 upon 3 to the power 3 so I will try to sum up all the three numbers like this 3 to the power here it is when it is getting multiplied bases are same the powers get added up so 2n plus n is 3n so it is 3n plus 2 minus 3 to the power 3n whole divided by here also it is 3m into 2 cube so 2 cube can be written as 9 minus 1 because 2 cube is 8 so it is 9 minus 1 and that is equal to 3 to the power 3 so here it will end up something like this 3 to the power 3n is taken as common and here it is 3 square minus 1 divided by here also it is 3 to the power 3m and here it is how much 9 minus 1 that is ok let us put it the same way it was earlier 2 cube here it is 3 to the power 3 so here it is 3 square is 9 9 minus 1 8 so it will land up something like this 3 to the power 3 n here it is 8 upon 3 to the power 3 m into 8 and that is equals to 1 upon 3 cube means it is 20 7 or just put it in the same way it was that got cancelled so it is 3 to the power 3n minus 3m equal to 3 to the power it will move in the numerator part so the power will be changed to minus 3 so on both the side of equal sign the bases are same so the powers can be equated so 3n minus 3m is equal to minus 3 so dividing by 3 on both the sides so we have then how much n minus m is equal to minus 1 or this minus 1 can come over here we shift this one so 1 equal to m minus n so that is root ok it's a very easy one but if you are st stuck up with the exponents handling of the power how to handle this 8 and all these things you need a one time practice ok Thank you. The solution of question 3 ends over here.